Let's okay. test your Chinese just before we start. What does this mean? I can. I don't know. I can something. Fang tea. I don't know what's the last word. It's fang pi. I don't know that. Don't know. Know the meaning. Okay, it's fart. <laughs> Wow! Why would I know that oh, name in that ho that whole <laughs> that thing? Word in Chinese? Fart? No, 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 I can't <laughs> fart. The whole thing is I will fart. Ah, ah okay. okay. And oh, did really? you? I will. I will. Yes. <laughs> Next time I'll put the microphone closer. <laughs> um, okay, let's begin. Okay, let's go. Rompada, rompada. Você já sabem. Acho que no último episódio já, já me fez entender que realmente o Relampada é um talkcast, uma mistura entre podcast e talk show, uh, que estamos a fazer aqui juntamente com os meninos do Estúdio 21. Mas eu agora, este episódio vai ser diferente. Eu vou mudar a minha língua. Não de facto a minha língua, mas uh, o meu idioma. Vamos lá mudar? Today's episode is in English. And uh, did you guys know in uh, back backstage if uh, when you speak in another language uh, your personality changes a little bit so don't get used to it because we're gonna uh, make uh, episodes in Portuguese or sometimes in English uh, why do do this in English if your audience is uh, Madeiran and Portuguese well because we're cool and we're alternative we're underground but most importantly we're cool because of our guests Today with me we have uh, two band members of the band named Talked Across the Room, Alex and Tanya. Hi. Yeah. Woo! Nice to meet you guys. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, how are you guys? Very nice. Nice to meet you. Uh, we've been speaking uh, a lot back uh, by backstage, yeah. uh, off camera, and uh, you guys are uh, are uh, very good people and very interesting. So what are you guys doing here in Madeira? That's <laughs> that's the question everyone asks. Well, uh, it's a long story. With all this situation, <coughs> firstly we got here. Well, I got here first, and uh, I came just to visit my family, and uh, I had no no idea what was going on, you know, in the background noise of the world at that moment. At that moment, and uh, a week later, I started all this thing about the virus going on and I was like yeah this is uh, two weeks and it'll be over and then I will spend my month in uh, Madeira and then I go back make my life as you know as usual it's been five months since <laughs> well, five months yeah here so yeah. you guys uh, you guys consider that you're stuck here for the moment yeah and uh, I mean it's been cool it's not like we're regretting it or something it's just you know life is the way it is and we're here now is how it is. Nice, nice. Yeah. This episode of uh, Relampada, and uh, Relampada translated into English is something like thunder slap. As you told, uh, as you told me, it's like uh, Thor. Is that Relampada is when Thor slaps, slaps you in the face? You in the face. Yes. Okay, I really <laughs> like that analogy. Actually, yeah. uh, this episode is very um, multicultural. So uh, Tanya, you're Ukrainian, right? Yeah, <laughs> Ukrainian. Right now, I'm. I well happen to be here, and uh, it's actually uh, interesting that uh, right now I think everyone's stuck in some places, in some countries where they maybe wasn't planning to be for that long. But I am pretty glad that I'm here because it's beautiful here. And way different way. than uh, yeah. Ukraine for sure. Right? Yeah, sure. I mean, most we already been living in. I'm not in Ukraine, we've been living in China for quite a long time and uh, we don't see much uh, of uh, nature, sunny, sun, I think, as, as here because it's island, everything is... It's very tropical. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. And you're from uh, Venezuela, so, yeah. uh, so we have Ukraine, Venezuela, Portugal and China because you guys met yeah. in China, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. 
And our drummer is from France. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, your drummer is Nico Meje. Yeah, Nico. Okay. Yeah. Nico I like yeah. that you did your research, man. I, yeah, I, like I, really, stuff. yeah, I really did. I yeah, like yeah. it, you know. It's so, like, yeah. please tell me, he, your he full is name young, is like. Ale your first and last name is Alejandro Lopez. Yes. And yours is. Uh, actually, it's not Tanya, correct? It's Tetiana. Uh, yeah, I mean, Tanya is a short one. Strikar? Strikar? Strikar. Strikar. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did my research. Yeah, I can I say, I can, yeah. I can tell, I like that, man. So, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I mean, we have Jerry as well. Oh, player. Jerry, yeah, yeah. Jerry, very important. Yeah, uh, very important. Can you, can you explain to me why you bring this, uh, this very uh, special, it's, is it a parrot or something? It's it, a bird. It's yeah, it's a sort. parrot. Yeah, I, I bring him everywhere with me, I think. I, you know, I like his company. Makes me feel very comfortable. Okay. Yeah, he, he has his own uh, aura, it's like, and uh, makes you feel like yeah you know and for sure easy. he's uh he's uh emanating some good energies right here it's a wise a wise bird and everything yeah wise bird wise bird okay yeah, he's nice, always nice, looking. nice so please tell tell me about your adventures in china how everything started uh, and then we'll get back to the beginning of uh, of your band which you is quite, which is very 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 good yeah Actually, our, we really, really like everything yeah you want to start it's a long story. Um, okay, let's hear it. Well, I don't know. It's it's been it's been for me ten years, where I got to China to for a contract. First, uh, like a singing in a hotel, and um, it happened to be like we finished. We this is where we met with Alex uh, at the at the contract. And once we finished, we started uh, working on a project. Uh, it was like uh, me and my friend singing, and we we were doing some Chinese thing. We were per participating in some competitions and uh, oh, okay. also doing big concerts there. Uh, but it happened that it came to some logic end, I guess, in, <laughs> in some point. My friend got married and she left China and... Uh, and then many things happened since then, so it's hard to but tell. But how did you end up uh, in China? Because of that uh, specific uh, job you were doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah I, was just, I just went for contract. Uh, okay. I don't know. We fin I was graduating in, uh, in Kiev. Uh, my, uh, uh, I got my bachelor and then I was like, maybe we just go somewhere. And we decided to go with my friend uh, to China. We were thinking that we were just going to stay there for six months and then come back. But then happened, I I met Alex and... and <laughs> <laughs> I got... And, <laughs> and you, got, you guys met in a special uh, date, correct? That date you were talking about uh, yeah. off camera? I mean, yeah, we, we, we met before that, of course. And we, we, mm -hmm. we didn't really have... Um, how would you call that? <laughs> we didn't really communicate much. Okay. Yeah, didn't we have the chemistry. Is we that it? No, I think the, okay. the, the the chemistry was definitely there. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. And I think the chemistry was. It's getting hot here in here. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say. Please help me, Jerry. The, <laughs> the chemistry the chemistry was such that we couldn't we couldn't talk. Okay. I don't I know if that makes sense. It's like I, I I couldn't like I would literally sit next to her and I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> you have to walk because I just couldn't. I don't know why. Couldn't handle. Okay. Yeah, I and I'm like, mm, no, no, I'm walking. And uh, yeah, but then, you know, it happened that uh, we started being together uh, after some time, and it happened to be the day of my birthday. Yeah. So we sh that day became a, a date, very interesting date, 20 of October. Yeah. 20 of October. Yeah. So. Was the date that you that you started the band as well? Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course we we started working before that, you know, like we we rehearse and uh, was our first show. I was think. our first show. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There was a, of course there was a writing process, you know, song songwriting and stuff, and then twenty of October also happened to be the the first show for the band. Yeah. Well, numerology working. In the yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the, uni the universe is uh, yeah. telling definitely telling you something yeah. about that date. When it was the date. 20 of October. It's this. It's our daughter's birthday. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you see? Of October. <laughs> Definitely, the universe is <laughs> trying, trying yeah. to send us a message. 
Speaking yeah. about the universe, you guys are really inspired about space for for your work with this band, correct? Yeah, I think me mostly. I'm very. I was always very passionate about the space, all the stars and planets, and always, you know, since I was a kid, I was always looking at, at the sky at night because I found it very fascinating, you know. For me, like the moon is wow, like something that I will just stare oh, yeah. at and like, wow, this is just, I mean, maybe some people do not appreciate it as much as it should, but it's something amazing that you got a massive rock floating there and you can actually see it. For me, it's just amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You get inspired by the moon or uh, other other uh, other stars. Anything. Or other I think the the question of what is out there is very very fascinating, and uh, that's why, for example, in in this song in particular, the the one we released, mm -hmm. uh, you can see that is it just goes beyond, you know, and it's a question that we all have, like you know, what is out there, and, and uh, playing or you know, kind of like building story out of your imagination that you know what could be there and the possibilities that actually because you know the 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 universe is like a, like a lottery you know you can think of anything and it could actually be true it actually could exist you know it of course. could be there because this is how things are so i, w I wanted to play with that uh, kind of uh, you know i wanted to play that game let's let's call it that way but this uh, video in particular uh, is is it's funny the way it happened to be because it was a dream I had. Okay, so um, for context, uh, Alex is speaking about oh, oh your yeah, Negroni is tropical, Negroni. Oh, tropical, <laughs> tropical, tropical Negroni. Tropical Negroni. Thank you, Duarte. <laughs> yeah, and uh, of course, Duarte is here in uh, in the name of uh, Bergeringa Bar Cafe. Oh, another oh, your oh first. all right. <laughs> let's let's see if this is good. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Cheers. And cheers. <laughs> cheers to you. Yeah, uh, Tanya is. Uh, what, what, what is she? Uh, okay, okay, how do you do it? It's a de gengibre, hortelã e mel. Okay, boa, boa. Skin, feito na hora. Nice. Is it good? Da, 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 da. And a little bit of rum. Wow! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this is good. Yeah, this very is really nice. Good. You like Thank it? You. Yeah. It but as I, uh, as I was uh, saying, uh, for for context, we're um, we're speak uh, we're talking about the um, the single you released. Yeah. Uh, called um, Guilty. Guilty. Yes. Uh, and it has a, a great video clip. Uh, it's an animation that yeah. was done in uh, two three months. Yeah, about three months. Uh, stop. About yeah. three months. And it's okay. the animation is amazing. You yeah. guys are uh, uh, astronauts, and then yeah. you have Nico back at HQ, and then you have another 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 member, Chris P on the controls. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah exactly. How do you find all Sorry? this information? I mean, I, uh, I, wow. I love the internet and I, I know my ways. There's <laughs> a guy, P. I didn't understand. There's a guy that he is on the control. Chris P. Oh, his name is Chris. Chris. Oh, Chris. Someone is Chris. Chris. Oh, okay. K R I S. Okay, Chris P. P. Yeah. Okay, I thought yeah. he peed on the control. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Chris. Chris is a is a great friend of of the band, and uh, he's a super talented person. He's from New York, Puerto Rican, but uh, live in New York. Okay, and, uh, so it, it is multicultural. Yeah, this this band. I mean, China is very multicultural. There is so much people from all over the world. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's cool because you you get to meet these people and work with these people in different ways. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing. Anywhere you go, you meet people from all over the world. And it happens that, yeah, you know, people that are very passionate about arts and stuff and they want to you know work around with different ideas and yeah Chris is, is being a friend for, for a long time and uh, I told him like I, I mean I love his charisma I mean if you see that moment when he has that expression like oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's just it's so <laughs> it's so genuine you know it's so you can feel the yeah, emotions yeah. people uh, in post-production now I'll, I'll put the video yeah, uh, yeah. where where he has uh, that expression it, the, the animation is amazing yeah. it's, it's great and you were uh, you were uh, telling me that you you guys are planning to release more episodes of that story yeah, one. Uh, yeah. the idea the idea I had from the no, no? Precisely from the beginning, but uh, after I had that the dream, which um, well, as I was saying before, 
I had a dream and then I tell Tanya, I had this dream where uh, we take off to the space okay. and uh, the whole Very thing romantic. happened. Yeah, and uh, adventurous. Then the, the the spaceship just exploded because we crash against the meteorite or whatever, and uh, then we fall in, uh, into a planet. Yeah, and uh, the the I mean, if you, if you see when you see the video, every every single detail that is in the video is exactly the dream from beginning to end every single frame okay it was a dream of course there, there was some things we had in pre-production like uh, chris and uh, mm -hmm. nico in the headquarters like kind of a, <laughs> yeah we added that and uh, <clears throat> yeah that that said like this and i i tell tani yeah i, I have this dream so she said why don't we make it a video and i'm like <laughs> oh, so you had the idea Yes, yeah, I was like, why not? Why, 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 why don't yeah. you invite? Why would you invent something if you have already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, wow, this is this is a great video. I mean, if we make this into a video, it'll be amazing. And then I I told like, okay, how do we make this into a video? And I I called a friend, uh, also a Venezuelan guy. His name is Anthony, who happened to have a great band too called uh, Radio Gamma. Mm. Yeah, uh, he's super talented. He's probably one of the most talented persons I know. He's a great musician. He's a great audio engineer. He's a, he's great at everything. He's just it's funny how people can be so talented. And I tell him, look, I have this idea, and I thought that maybe we could turn this into an an animated video because I always had the idea. I, I like animation, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it's entertaining uh, for me at least, and. Uh, he say, look, I've never done animation in my life, but I will take this as, as a challenge. Wow. Okay. But the craziest thing is that I told him the idea and he told me, uh, wait, wait a little bit. And uh, let me know if you'll be awake because I, I texted him probably like 1 a.m. in the morning. And uh, <clears throat> I swear, 30 minutes later, he sent me a 12 second clip of the beginning of the video. Wow! So a test to see if yeah. you liked the... And he told me, this is what I have in my head as the animation, the type of animation. What do you think? And like, man, this is... Oh, it's yeah, really amazing. We'll do it. And he said, cool. Then from there we started, you know, talking about it. He asked me to do like a, a history board badly draw because I am horrible at drawing <laughs> but it's funny and I love it I, if I see it I'm like this is amazing this is 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 like a kid drawing you know oh, okay okay <laughs> talentless drawing but yeah, it looks amazing and, and that I I try at the best of my abilities to put every frame of the story and I send it to him and then he he made his magic yeah he said yeah let's do it we'll do it again against the green screen and then we'll just draw frame per frame and then it came to be to, to what it is now and we're just so happy so happy for the really results really impressive video. yeah yeah uh, so you guys started in uh, 2018 correct yes. uh, on the on that uh, great birthday. date uh, your your birthday yeah. um you 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 guys um uh, speak speak about yourselves as a synth pop new wave band yeah do you have another inf uh, other influences you you want to speak uh, for example in the vocals do you have uh, any any inspiration from a from a, di a different style or something like that well when it comes to recording vocals <laughs> i don't have any inspiration i'm just uh, going by feel and the way i i see it what where the music takes me and uh, sometimes when we start doing a song and I start singing it and it's sometimes turning in different direction as probably many people experience that. And um, yeah, I think uh, I always start looking different, like searching different ways of, uh, you know, playing with my voice and how it sounds because voice is another instrument that you can just, you know, experiment experiment with that and yeah that's the result of it yeah. <laughs> what amazing got. and, and uh, did you always uh, s sing uh, in english and uh, mm -hmm. and in uh, russian it's correct uh, in ukraine it's russian 
Uh, well, as I've been Ukrainian. Yeah, we have oh, okay. Uh, okay. our own language, but I've been uh, I've been to China already for ten years, and I already forgot. <laughs> it's not uh, really nice, but I forgot uh, what I was singing before when I was in Ukraine, and um, it's mostly Chinese English, uh, s- some Spanish songs. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. But uh, because I mean, my background is kind of folk music Ukrainian and it's oh, I see. it's completely different thing and yeah oh, but that's interesting I think that that folk uh, the folk um, how will you say that influence kind of work its way too into into what we do okay. you might not agree with that but I believe that uh, that little touch of folk influence plays a part for example in in, in guilty we did many takes, <laughs> but there was the first take she just did naturally. Oh, okay. She just did one take. She just like, yeah, just to do like the, the basic demos from where we start, you know, yeah, putting yeah, yeah, pieces yeah. together uh, on production for the song. And um, yeah, we thought, yeah, I, I love it. I'm personally love it. But she said, no, I want to do it again because I'm not happy with it. And... Um, Okay, we kind of worked all the arrangements the line, and we send it to our friend uh, who was help, helping with the production and mixing, mastering, all the stuff. <clears throat> and uh, she did record again, the vocals. And we send it. And the guy said, do you have that vocals the first time you, you record that from the <laughs> demo? And okay. I'm like, yeah, we have it. Send me that. And it's funny because that was recorded with a very cheap Mike okay. at home and, with the at home <laughs> in a in a sound interface that isn't really doesn't have the best preamps to record. Uh, but the second one I recorded with a good uh, mic and a good preamp that I had built. Uh, mm-hmm. That someone built for me, and uh, it sounded great. Like you know, clean sonic wise, it was incredible. Was... But the producer was happy with that first slightly digital distorted <laughs> yeah. voice but sometimes that's uh, that, that that's the, the yeah. best maybe for our style i don't know if Ale- alex uh, back backstage agree agrees with that sometimes uh, the, the worst agree. the worst mics sound the better in some cases it happens that it brought the right energy the right feel for the song and uh, she um, sometimes i believe that the first take is always the most honest yes it is it's true and that first take <laughs> was on point and there is no better take in the world than that take yeah and that's what is not always but yeah <laughs> but i'm talking about this case in particular <laughs> but alex alex backstage is is backing me up he's like yes yes <laughs> because it's true it depends yeah always the first take is the most honest one and it's the more the most artistic i'll say yep yeah. nice, totally nice. agree yeah Tell me about China. We we need to to talk. What what do you guys like most of China, and what do you guys don't like as most as best? Mm. What about you? Okay. The first one to answer. Okay. Then start to go. okay. China. Mm. China is a very interesting place. Okay. Let's start with that. Because as I mentioned, uh, there is a lot of. Uh, cultural background because there is so many people from all over the world and you get to meet these people and uh, you build that community and it brings so much to you as a, as a person you learn a lot to become a, a better human being I believe because you learn how to be around people that have different beliefs uh, gr- uh, grew up in a different country with different uh, religious backgrounds and uh, you know every country have a different culture mm-hmm. and we go we all end up in a country which is really different to anything we know but also we all share different cultures so you put all that together and you you grow like spiritually and as a person you grow you become someone more aware of uh, of everything you know everything in, in the world uh, about you become aware of 
the love of friendship and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. being tolerant with the other nationalities and other people and you learn to love life for what it is because there is so much difference in the world that you understand that the, it doesn't make sense the hate I don't know if that makes sense yeah it makes to total say. sense total sense yeah so I get it. This is what you learn. You learn a lot as as a human being, definitely. And it's something that I, I definitely feel very grateful for. And what about you? I think she will agree. What about you? What What's yeah, the sure. the best thing about China? Highlights. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, China is huge and beautiful. The nature and scenery and culture is very rich and different from Europe and from US, like United States. I think it's also like Asia itself is just a di another world. Yeah, it's like another planet. Yeah. Um, I've, we've been traveling a lot in different cities, uh, provinces for concerts and, um, you know, it's really different because some parts of China, people are different. It's like few, uh, like, like lots of ethnic inside, inside of country. Mm -hmm. And even the language is different. The, some part of like North and South, they don't understand yeah. each other because they have different dialects. It's such a big country and yeah, yeah. so many people. I believe they have 55. It's dialects. a lot of people, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, something like that. Around 50 something, yeah. For some wow. people, when they come first time to China, f it's overwhelming because <gasps> it's like you cannot breathe. The people everywhere, you cannot hide anywhere. It's uh, but um, I some people or love it or hate it, like the China, because it's different culture. Yes, and uh, if you like it, you will see that people are very nice, very friendly, very like yeah. they are like like kids in a way. You, until they are old, they really. Uh, it's really interesting how they see it. I love the dancing thing, thing they do on the streets. Yeah. Like old people, they gather together. They have these oh, flash really? mobs. Yeah. yeah. They oh. have it. Old, it's super cool. Old people, they 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 have this thing <laughs> that they they want to be active because they, you know, they, the older you get, the more yeah, active yeah, yeah, you yeah. want to, to be. So they have these flash mobs every time in the afternoon around six. Yeah. Whoa. And you will see these squares. <laughs> Full of all ladies and guys dancing. Who, yeah, yeah, doing all these moves. <laughs> they playing dancing, some like, music. Electronic, yeah, <laughs> like electronic kind of like you know that cheesy nineties electronic like tux tux tux, <laughs> and they will be doing this really very, very funny, but all completely synchronized. Wow. Yeah, someone yeah. is doing they like rehearse and everything for that. No, they just, they I don't know. So they have someone leading and yeah. they follow. Oh, okay. And it's just, it's amazing, and you see that, and you like, how can you love this stuff? I mean, it's, it's, it's life, you know, it's, it's beautiful to see this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very nice. I mean, it, like, for example, you see, in, uh, when you go to the park, you see someone doing... Tai like, Chi. Tai Chi, oh, different okay. kind of, uh, you know... This oh, they have this thing also, when they, they, they have this huge stick that w works like a, like a painting brush, mm -hmm. and they, they uh, dip it in water, and then they do all this Chinese characters calli oh, okay. calligraphy kanji in yeah, the, yeah. In the in the floor and he is cool just with the water yeah yeah it's super cool super cool uh, they have so many very beautiful cultural activities that you like you don't see this stuff everywhere and it's it's, it's beautiful to see yeah the yeah. art is very i mean it's really fascinating chinese fascinating. opera which is very different wow. to yeah the opera the ballet and the so much colors and uh, yeah, the way they paint uh, faces, they do this mask uh, uh, ceremony, like it's like a festival, so I don't know what kind of thing, performance with the changing clothes. It's it's really crazy. Yeah. Because mostly when you go to big concerts, they have uh, s different kind of performances and you can see that like from some performance from opera or some performance like a dancing or some drumming thing they have. Like it's really... Cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. it's beautiful. It makes me miss this stuff. It, uh, it's even funny that yeah. they do uh, uh, these exercise things, like the whole, like from restaurant workers. They mm -hmm. in the morning or in the evening they gather together outside, yeah. and they doing push-ups or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, Whoa. It's, it's it's like <laughs> just imagine this this very crazy. this picture of a, a restaurant here in Portugal. And yeah. Five o'clock before they go before the shift, the night shift, they will just the manager will take them out 
We'll say we all sing a song together, or we'll just do some 15 minutes of like uh, physical exercise. Of physical exercise, and he does a little speech like to motivate, motivate. them, and oh. then they yeah. start working. Yeah. It's something like you like wow, yeah. I mean, we became we became used to it, but when you go out, you kind of like it's so different and it's it's crazy. It's crazy. It's something. Incredible wow. to, to Dutch, see. Dutch, the Bahiringa should uh, adapt, uh, should do something like yeah, that. Yeah, now you bring the. Vocês deviam de ter toda a gente fora começar a fazer exercícios. Já que estamos a falar da Bahiringa, é pá, é que o o Alex queria saber esta receita. Se podes divulgar o que é que o que é que fazes aqui na Grona? É uma bebida tradicional italiana com gin e vermutos. Não sou a camp camp campari e um vermute, normalmente é o um martini. Então a ideia foi juntar com o madeirense, o vermute madeirense e o bitter ser o martini. Desenvolvemos o tropical negroni. Uau, tropical negroni. Na, na, na madeira temos rum, uh, é uma, uma relíquia que nós temos, algo precioso, brincamos com o rum. Muito bem, vocês também, fazem... vocês também fazem muito disso com outras bebidas, vocês uh, tentam trazer algo Sim. mais regional para dar aquele toque grande parte do nosso menu na Barreirinha Barca, no Barreirinha Barca Fé, com os cocktails são feitos com rum madeirense, hum. investimos no rum. Sim. Muito fixe, agora só falta investir mesmo em exercício antes de trabalhar. <risos> <risos> já estamos com o trabalho, já é suficiente, também cortamos a música mesmo a trabalhar. Exatamente. E... Sim, sim, é sim. Muito sim. animal. Não? Muito fixe, muito, muito fixe. fixe. Uh, like Hmm? Yeah, it's like very good. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, I challenged you guys to um, to to play your uh, your single "Guilty" yeah. here in a more acoustic uh, fashion, up, fashion yeah. uh, and we'll uh, end it uh, like this. So, please take it away. Ma maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll take your drink and put put it here. And uh, feel free. Have our Steve. musical. Does Alex have a, one of these clip tuners so I can have? <sighs> Just to make sure. Yeah. Studio, uh, Studio 21 has everything. Yeah, they do have <laughs> our <laughs> best partners, actually. <laughs> this uh, this project oh. is mine and, the, and theirs, so of course, Studio 21 provides everything. Yeah. Okay, how does this work? Okay, this way. Huh? While you guys uh, are prepping yeah. everything, oh, yeah. uh, do you know tongue twisters? Tongue twisters? In Chinese. Oh, I'm horrible at that. <laughs> do, do, you know, do, do you know some in uh, Ukrainian? Or, uh, don't remember, uh, yeah, but I mean, I used to I used to learn a lot because I was studying and singing. Yeah, that's and you don't remember any, anything? Ah. Uh, uh, I wanted to try and see if I could do it. <laughs> well, if you told me earlier, I would prepare Oh, no, no worries, no worries. <laughs> it, this is on the spot. Always on the spot. Yeah. It seems like it is tuned. Oh, it is? Yeah. Nice. Then we, can... we, we didn't rehearse this <laughs> at all. Uh, well, if you guys are comfortable, we can just we do it on, on the go. Well, the first take is the most <laughs> the yeah. best, the better one. <laughs> we just go for that. Go for that. So yeah, this is guilty.
I'm so happy. Thank you so Thank much you. for doing this on the spot. Yeah, you didn't rehearse Thank this. We did, we did. Yeah, we but, uh, <laughs> before uh, we end, we end this episode. Um, I wanna, I wanna give oh, you guys uh, something um, that one of our sponsors uh, provide us. It's Madeirins Puru. Uh, nice. They do these uh, stickers and uh, and. Uh, T-shirts and mugs with uh, some sayings that uh, that we use here in the island. Mm -hmm. So I have apash, which is rapash. Uh -huh. It's it's a uh, boy or uh, yeah. or something like that. And I have aparega, which <laughs> is which is girl or something uh, like that. Yeah. yeah. So that's uh, that's something that's a magnet, right, for, uh, yeah. for the fridge. So yeah, put that on your okay. fridge and uh, you'll remember us and Madeira Spuru uh, by Ghana. Th uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you guys. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you for really, inviting really us. Really, really good. One yeah. more, one more. Yeah. Cheers. 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 To you guys, yes. to your project. Thank and, you so uh, much. Yeah. Much success. Yes. Bye bye.